Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kamar and I welcome you to this channel, channel called Infortified. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how you can install and configure Kali Linux. And uh, this is just an extension to my article where I have written and, and explained how you can basically configure and uh, install Kali Linux, which is one of the prerequisite that you should have a, a lab by which you can start your ethical hacking, penetration testing, or a cybersecurity journey. And uh, for that, you need to have a secondary operating system called Kali Linux. And we are going to install it using Hyper-V. Uh, and Hyper-V, I already have enabled and I already have uh, explained how you can enable and and do the basic configuration so that it can communicate with the internet and you can go ahead and check that video which is already there in the channel so uh, coming back to our topic today which is installing the kali linux uh, let me just uh, quickly show you you can go to start and type hyper v manager you, which is already there and if you look at my screen there are already three machines which are into the off state and I'm going to create another machine which will uh, be a test machine just to for the demo purpose. So what we will do, just go to the right hand side and you will see new. Uh, click on that and click on virtual machine. And uh, let's say you it's a, it's a setup wizard where you have to define uh, what should be the name of your machine. Uh, let me say Kali test and uh, then go, uh, this option where it shows store the virtual machine into the different location if you want to install your uh, set up your virtual machine into a different drive uh, maybe D or somewhere then you can do that otherwise it's perfectly fine if, if you want you can keep it into the default location moving to next and then select the generation one generation two is a uh, the latest one but there are many machines on which generation 2 does not work because of the uefi based uh, firmware so uh, for the safer side i will recomm recommend you to go with the generation 1 go to next select your ram uh, 1024 mb is minimum you can keep it uh, if you want you can uh, if you have enough memory like 16 gb ram or even more than that you can just go ahead with the uh, 2048 mb if you have lower and if you have enough ram like 16 gb or 32 gb you can use this use dynamic memory for this virtual machine what it does that if your virtual machine sometime requires the higher ram then it can pull up from the existing ram but if you uncheck that uh, it will strictly limit to the one gig uh, memory so uh, if you have lower memory i will recommend you to uncheck so that it will not affect your uh, host machine uh, performance now go to next uh, the connection the connection means how your uh, this virtual machine uh, Kali Linux which we are going to install will be connected with the host machine so that it can it can take the internet connection from the host machine and can communicate to the uh, uh, the world so uh, I'm going to select my virtual switch that I already have created under Hyper-V manager which is my X switch Hi, how it is being created and how it is being configured you can check into my different the just the previous article or into the previous video in the same channel now let's select the my external switch go to next this is the virtual hard disk it is creating this space how much space your machine will take let me just uh, take 40 GB and uh, yeah now let's go to next where we will select the os and os image i already have downloaded you can select it from download and save and where you want to download it from that uh, it's already there into the kali linux uh, like you can simply count, do download kali 20.2 and it will be there kali.org and just go to download and select this first one kali linux 64 bit installer installer i already have downloaded it's like 3.6 gig so let me go back and continue with the installation so i have this image file saved here i am selecting kali linux and then i can go to next 
and this is the uh, kind of summary of what we are going to create the name of the machine and everything that is there just make sure if um, everything is fine what you, you is supposed to be if you think that there should be some changes you can go to previous state and you can make the changes even after installation and setting up if you want to make changes that can be done easily so let's go with finish and it will create the virtual machine uh, setup and then we will have to uh, initiate the installation part it's creating the disk fail to create virtual hard disk okay let me just take the different location maybe I had created before some space are not uh, deleted I will go ahead and check that later on and let's select this one and then go to next next and finish so it could be a space problem definitely it was a space problem so now let's go to the Kali test which is off I will right click and start or double click or simply uh, yeah double click and it will get started now click on start and here we go yeah so graphical install choose graphical install press enter and yeah that's the windows So it may take some time to complete. I will select the language of the OS, which is English country. I'm selecting my country, India. You can select yours. This is the keyboard uh, layout, uh, which is I'm selecting American English. And then this is creating the mounting and all. So uh, some of these steps takes uh, completes quickly. Uh, when there is a complete installation of packages, it may take some hours and hours so we'll try making it a uh, quick or i will pause the video and um, re start the video again once that particular uh, thing is completed is this is the installer uh, components from installation media and all so these uh, initial few steps are quickly to happen that's why i'm keeping it going once it is something that shows the longer time then you can uh, we will pause the video yeah the host name I'm keeping Kali as it is domain name I'm making it blank if you have some particular domain which you want to connect with the uh, machine then you can create otherwise leave it blank configuring the network full name of the user let's put it in fortified and that will be the username to login so this is one new update into the latest Kali Linux which is starting when the update happened in 2000 uh, uh, this year only in January uh, this is the second update in the 2020 which has happened in May where uh, Kali Linux has by default removed the root user you can't uh, you know create a login or keep keep the root and root user and admin password that used to be before from now on what you have to do you have to create a standard user and then and the password and and that will be used to uh, to log into the uh, what do we say to to this machine but this particular user will not have that admin rights to to make changes and all so uh, we'll go ahead and check how you can uh, you know give this user a root user access or how you can reset the password of root which is already there but by default it is not enabled and then you can start using root if you want or if you want for the general purpose of the usage you can use this user by this user what is uh, being already there now uh, look at this screen it is saying guide uh, the partition method use entire disk the entire disk means the 40 GB space that we have given to this uh, virtual hard disk now this is what it is continue all files in one partition just go ahead with default finish partitioning yes continue write the changes to disk yes 
now it is installing the base operating system out of once the base installation is completed it will give you the option to choose uh, what all tools that you want to install Kali Linux as you might know comes with more than 600 plus tools that you can install more than 100 plus into the package itself and which you can use for your hacking ethical hacking purposes uh, yeah so uh, let's that option comes in and then I will help you choose what exactly you should choose Let me play something till Still taking some time. Okay. Uh, now we are at the screen which asks for the HTTP. You can simply keep it blank and move ahead. Forty one seconds. Meanwhile, this is installing. You can uh, so it's basic. It's a simple to use. Uh, once it is completely installed, you can just go ahead and reboot this machine and log in with the credential that you have created. And uh, so, so installation is not the very big part. It's quite easy to just follow up just follow the this screen and it gets you completed the the actual part starts once the os is installed so that you can check the internet connectivity it's working fine then update it and also the key tools which are which you should use or some basic settings that you can do while uh, in order to use it yeah i think we are coming to the screen where we need to select the operating system It is taking time, so I will I'll pause this video and I will uh, start once again once it is uh, you know to the place where it should. It's taking really long time to install because I selected the option one of the option which is the last default selection which is for the additional tools. Like if you select that one, it takes like uh, more than 560 GB of internet uh, data to be downloaded from Kali server. Maybe that this is time uh, This time it is really slow and it is taking really longer time. So I just want to give you the uh, Overview of what happens and what should you select in the next? Uh, what all is screen that comes up and what you need to select in this one? So uh, we were at this screen where it asks you to choose what kind of desktop environment you want so you can select the de default desktop environment or the XAFC and rest this is the default setting that needs to be there so if you select default recommendation tools available in the live system it will take like 5 6 GB to be installed and if you select the large one it will even take more time so it is recommended to take uh, select the uh, top 10 the most popular tools or the default one if you have the good internet connection and then click on continue and then after some time once those all those packages are installed you will get this option to install group loader 
on a hard disk so you have to select yes and then click continue and after that it will ask you to select the hard disk location which we already had created and it will uh, you need to select this one instead of inter device manually and then click OK and after a few minutes the uh, the installation gets completed and the only time which the longer time that it takes is on this screen where uh, where you have to uh, you know wait for the whole packages to be installed so once it is done you need to click on continue you will get the finish installation time which hardly takes a minute and after that you will get this reboot and this screen is there yeah once this screen is there what you basically need to do is to log in with the credential that you have created and it works fine i will just show you quickly how it works uh, let me just go ahead to my kali linux and the other one which i already have installed before and it is working fine uh, yeah this is it so yeah so this is the screen uh, you have to log in with your credential and you will see it is connected with the internet and it is working fine what uh, if you want to verify you can just go to the any tab and you can open these are the default tab you can just go to Kali docs where all the docs are there right so uh, yeah this is it and this is the installation these are the default uh, default uh, uh, tools that are available that we have sell, uh, installed and all those terminals and everything you must be wondering about the the desktop resolution by default uh, the desktop uh, resolution is like this only but if we try changing it uh, resolution it does not get changed because uh, this is the fixed one but if you want uh, it can be simply changed from the packages by uh, putting some command so so once the installation is there once the internet is working fine we can simply go ahead and all those sanitation and all those changes that needs to be uh, are done like for example making the full screen updates and also it will it the video is already longer so in the next video i will uh, next video and vlog i will tell you what 10 things or 15 things uh, uh, you should do once your kali linux is set up and running fine so uh, uh, this is it into this blog and see you in the next video.